CZMCruise.com to plan your escape. Merry Christmas to all of you. I'm Dave Carger. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. We're spending this holiday evening with a quartet of thrillers made by Alfred Hitchcock and starring Jimmy Stewart. First up from 1958 is Vertigo. Stewart plays Scotty Ferguson, a former detective tasked with following the wife of an old friend. While tailing the beautiful blonde, played by Kim Novak, Scotty is led down a road of mystery and obsession. All the while, he must confront his bouts with Vertigo and its deadly consequences for those around him. Vertigo has widely been considered one of the greatest films of all time, but the film underwent a dizzying ascension to the top. It was met with a lukewarm reception when it was released, generating moderate box office success. Vertigo aged gracefully with time, however, and has been reevaluated by critics since the 1960s. But it wasn't until the 80s that mass fervor around the film grew. Vertigo was one of the five missing Hitchcock films that the director removed from circulation in 1968, rendering them all but legally impossible to watch. Even Stewart, who starred in four of those five films, was denied access to clips from Vertigo when he was honored with a retrospective of his work at the 1982 Berlin Film Festival. After Hitchcock's death in 1980, Vertigo was re-released in 1983 by Universal to enormous success. By the 1990s, the film had topped virtually every major critic and film publication's best of list. It peaked at number one in the British film journal Sight and Sound's 2012 list, which is updated every 10 years. In the most recent version from 2022, it sits at number two, behind Belgian filmmaker Chantal Ackerman's 1975 drama Jean Dielman. Vertigo was Stewart's fourth and final picture with Hitchcock, and an impressive collaboration that began with 1948's Rope. The rest of their pictures together will appear in tonight's lineup, but right now from 1958, here is Vertigo. Alfred Hitchcock and Jimmy Stewart developed a mutual respect and admiration for each other after working together. Stewart had mostly fond things to say about Vertigo in his later life. Upon re-watching the film, the actor commented that he found it to be an extraordinary achievement from the director. Stewart didn't realize the film would have the impact that it's had when he was making it, but he was aware of how personal it was for Hitchcock. Many critics have pointed out that Vertigo's themes of obsession and control mirror Hitchcock's well-known obsessive behavior. Hitchcock heaped praise on Jimmy Stewart as well, referring to him as a painstaking craftsman and an actor with a natural gift. By comparison, Kim Novak did not receive the same heightened praise from Hitchcock. The director initially wanted Vera Miles for the role, but when she became pregnant during production, the 24-year-old Novak stepped in. Stewart remembered Hitchcock's coldness toward Novak. When the actress asked the director about her character's emotions in a scene, Hitchcock responded with silence at first before declaring, it's only a movie for God's sakes. Up next, Stewart appears alongside another famous blonde, but this one was Hitchcock's favorite, Grace Kelly. Next on TCM, Rear Window. Then, The Man Who Knew Too Much. And later, Rope. Tie one on with TCM Tonight. <laughs> 